Welcome back to our extended show. It's named after a sun-loving fungus that lives in cow dung. The dance form of Palobolus, which has been gathering momentum for more than 30 years, is a lot more exciting, but we'll let you judge for yourself. In April this year, one billion people tuned in to watch the Oscars. They were captivated when they saw the performance art for the Best Motion Picture nominations. A melange of dancers cleverly sculpted their bodies to create shadows of the iconic symbols that typified each nominated film. Worldwide coverage. It was incredible. In 30 seconds. It was great. From a crown to a bus to the Tower of Babel, the dance company Palobolus' inventiveness was electrifying. A world-renowned dance company, they stumbled upon the idea of creating witty shadows only 10 months ago. For the past 36 years, Palobolus has earned the reputation as being one of America's finest dance companies. But it was at the Oscars this year when the imagination of a billion people was ignited. So in a couple of minutes, probably more Many more people saw us than have seen us in the previous, you know, 35 years of our existence. What is it about shadows that captures the imagination? Shadows are kind of uh, the mask that people wear, and you know that it, it represents a, a, a facet of nature, but not its whole. And so there's something elusive, I think, about a shadow. You know, the real work is hidden and you're seeing a reflection of reality. Robbie Barnett was one of the founder members of the company, which was formed in 1976. Although he was an athlete and not a dancer, a couple of his friends took a dance class because it was run by a young, beautiful teacher. So she asked to make a dance. And standing alone in front of other people by ourselves just seemed like impossible so we kind of clung to each other for moral and physical support and we began to build a dance that way all mass kind of twisted together like proteins and that attracted a lot of curious attention their way of moving was so innovative that there was enough of a demand for them to start a dance company its style was off the wall and witty and altered the way that modern dance was perceived in the United States They kind of like changed modern dance in the United States. Globalist brought the funny back into modern dance and, and wittiness and, and lightened the load a little bit so it didn't need to be so heavy and so antagonistic all the time. Renee Jaworski has been dancing for Globalist for seven years. Globalist largely performs with as little clothing on as possible to emphasize the beauty of the physical form in motion. It was like walking into uh, Alice in Wonderland, you know, like going, dropping down a rabbit hole. I opened the door to this big barn and there were people that were half naked. And I walked in there and I just, it was just magical. It was really cool. According to Adam Battlestein, who's been with the company for 18 years, Palobolus's trademark has been creating new ways of moving bodies through space. What they're known for is this kind of partnering where people share weight and move together through the space, attached to each other. And this is something that you don't learn anywhere else. So even though I came in with good skills, uh, I had to learn all that from scratch. And it takes time. It takes about a year to really get comfortable doing this partnering stuff where you're stuck together and moving through the space, making a creature out of two and three bodies. Traditionally, dance has its own vocabulary, but Palabolus have created their own, like body floss, galloping sofas, and fat gnomes. It's a far cry from pirouette and plie. When we name a move, it can't just be anything. It has to be metaphorical. It has to be represent the evocative nature of the move. Cuttlefish. There's a movement that kind of does that. We call it a cuttlefish, because that's what cuttlefish do, <laughs> so. We have a move called the Greyhound, and if you didn't know it was called that, you wouldn't maybe look at it and see that the legs of the two people are passing by each other like a greyhound running on a track. And so each move has a little story behind it and a metaphor, 
and that's how we remember them, and it also keeps us thinking in an artistic vein. Their terms are also light-hearted. This creature is called the Daddy Longlegs. Even Palobolus's name is not mainstream. So, what is Palobolus? The actual definition is a sun-loving fungus that lives in cow dung. In many ways, our little arts organism has taken a sort of Darwinian view. We're opportunistic, you know, if something interesting comes along, if there's a new piece of nourishment or nutrient, we kind of send out a pseudopod and try to scarf it up. With over 3,000 requests to do work after the Oscars, a project in South Africa interested them enough to bring their company to our shores. Let's start with a uh, middle stage, one person high, and see what we get. They're here to create dance and shadow work for a series of commercials for the Bidvest group. Brian Jaffe is Bidvest CEO. This one will be different. It's not going to be the regular commercial in that this is a people's commercial. It's, it's, we don't have any props. The props in the, in the commercial are people. Yes, that's it. How do you go about creating the shapes? You get behind a screen and you mess around. Yeah, it's very experimental. I mean, again, you, you really have to understand that this is not something that we know anything about. Somebody asked us to make shadows, so we're learning how to make shadows. Matt Kent, the team leader, believes that anything is possible with the human body. So we can see our own shadow against the screen. Uh, and what happens is you, you start to, I, can't, I think of the game Tetris, you know, where you're flipping these shapes. It's like that, you, you develop a sense and you're looking at a shadow like a, a flower pot or an elephant and you're thinking, okay, that's somebody's knee and then that's the curve of their back and then somebody's on top of me and you, know, you start to think in your head, how can we fit these bodies in to make this outline? And uh, that, you get better at that and better at that. And we all know what we're trying to do, so by like, by like inch and by ooch, we like s sort of like form ourselves into these shapes. Uh, you know what, Palabolus is sort of famous for its inventiveness, its originality, and who knows? I mean, you know, in another 10 years, it, it won't be shadows, it'll be something else that none of us have thought of. But. I do think that it's, you know, the simplicity. I mean, who hasn't made a shadow? Who hasn't sat there, you know, and like, you know, on the wall? Everybody's done that. Although shadow hand puppets may be seen as a fun game to play with children, its origins are ancient. Paper puppets can be traced back 2,000 years to China. It's because it's so old and so, so very primal that uh, it fires uh, the imagination and that people, no matter who you are or what your interest, will recognize the endeavor here. It's spectacular. Ian Becker is the art director on the stole shoot and calls Pulobulus human Lego or human clay. You can mold any shape you can imagine. Can you make a crane? Yes, we think we can make a crane, but we'll see. We'll play, we play. And then you discover that how this group works is they play, and you play with them in order to create things. Tace Buerta is the advertising executive who contacted Palobolus for the Bidvest campaign. It has been absolutely extraordinary working with them. They have a creative genius which I have never experienced before in my life, and I doubt if I will ever have that again. They are purists in their approach to their work. They want the lines that their bodies create to be unencumbered by clothes. But in creating these shapes, they come into very close proximity to one another. What is it like? Because you work in such close proximity to each other and having somebody's bum in your face. And The forced intimacy in Palabolus is um, not this... It doesn't feel like it looks, you know. It, it's, you're, you're making a shape. And that's really what you're thinking of when you're out there most of the time. You don't really think about it. They're my tools. I'm their tool. They're my tools. They're like my paintbrush or my paint. You, you disconnect from the idea that it is an intimate position or an awkward looking feeling position. There's something both robust and graceful in the way Palobolus moves. And according to Robbie, there is also something philosophical. When we have a move, which is a group of people moving together, it becomes a metaphor for a kind of a social ideal, a physical manifestation of a social ideal, really. And I think some of the pleasure people take from watching our work is this knowledge that 
this is not just a group of performers interacting. Well, it's not a group of performers engaged in only a personal search, but there's a there's a psychological and a social interaction that is somehow um, idealistic. And I think people will like that. They certainly get to know each other rather intimately. Fascinating. Take uh, five minutes to try and cool the earth with us by completing our survey and you could win a luxury two-day getaway at the Sabi Sabi Game Reserve for two. Push OK on your remote now, go to entertainment and select the carte blanche survey. Alternatively, go to our website.